hey lovelies welcome to my channel my name is Tracy what's good what's good what's Gucci <laughs> Merry Christmas Merry Christmas as you can see I have my tree behind me because I am super excited to get this video going so today's video is going to be my top picks for Christmas. I'm so excited. I wanted to kind of feel the Christmas energy, which is why I have my tree behind me. It's a different look, but let's just keep going. If you're super excited to see what I have, what my top picks are for December, for Christmas season, keep watching. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. In no particular order, these are my top picks for Christmas number one item I'm going to be showing you is a fragrance of course I had to get myself a fragrance for Christmas it is the Dior and it's the Dior addict look at that guys this is like I really cannot wait to to try this fragrance I'm um, gonna insert a picture of what it looks like but it's brand new and I'm hoping to open it on Christmas day. But yeah, came with this nice bag. That is my first pick in no particular order. Second item I want to show you is, do you remember when it was trending? This brand called Byredo. Do you remember when it was actually trending? On social media, everybody wanted to get this perfume. Buy red or 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 buy red or. Anyways, someone got me a beautiful friend of mine got me the candle set, and it's called the Bougie Collection. <coughs> of course, the Bougie is befitting. Um, but yeah, so it's the buy red or, but instead of the instead of the fragrance that everyone was shouting about, it is the candle parfum condo so let me open it up and see what it looks like wow <laughs> the way i just flung that thing was <laughs> dramatic but yeah this is what it looks like oh uh, this the detailing for me it's the detailing for me y'all okay Are you ready drum roll drum roll oh my god guys it smells heavenly I shouldn't curse but it smells heavenly so i've got three flavors i've got the cotton poplin i've got the bohemian and i've got the treehouse i feel like my favorite is the bohemian but everything is fantastic as in fantabulous it's just such a gorgeous set and probably gonna keep one in my living room one in the guest room and then one in like the um washroom so when you're when you're perceiving the scent, you should be giving putting some respect on the scent. Okay, it's so nice. I love it so much. Gosh, it smells so good. Anyways, this is it for the Byredo. In no particular order. So the next item that I have here is this Rad Swan wig, guys. If I tell you that I saw this week on Patricia Bright and I was like, I just have to get this. It was so black girl friendly. The texture of the hair looked like my hair. I just felt like this is the kind of wig I want to be wearing in 2022. Like I want to be looking like just a vamp version of myself. Not like some Letitia. <laughs> I mean, some days I want to look like Letitia, but today most days i want to look like me so you get the vibes so anyways i obviously love this as my top pick for the christmas because ciao i'll be looking good for a christmas party there's the rat swan patricia by made me do it <laughs> speaking of influencers she's the only influencer that has made me buy something before like so quick because i knew it was going to get sold out if i don't but speaking of packaging from Rad Swan, I feel like it's a black owned business. They're based in America. Speaking of packaging, hands down, this is the best packaging that I've ever received from her hair vendor before. 
I'm speaking from this. You can travel with this stuff. Like it's a packaging for me and it wasn't even that expensive. I feel like it was about $150. Come on. Sometimes you, I, I honestly have paid more than this amount before for wigs and they didn't give it to me like a VIP customer. They just like threw it in one bag for me. This one can be reusable. So I love it. So this is it. Very mesh. And um, child, don't come for me. This air is giving me all the vibes I need right now. So I got the Rad Shape 04. Okay, if you go on the website, it's called the Rad Shape 04. They have different numbers, but if you want the exact style that I got, I feel like I will, in my future self, I will insert a picture or a video of me wearing this wig so that you can kind of have a picture of what it looks like. So in the pack, it comes with this very beautiful magazine. Just, you know, thanking you for using the brand, which is lovely. And um, they also gave amazing stickers, black, like black pride kind of stickers, which I feel like I can always use on my laptop or certain things like that. I love, I love that. And then this, and that's it. That's the end of the bag. That's really nice um this is what the wig looks like i'm just gonna open it for y'all to see oh my god first impression guys yeah i guess so first impression. look at that look at that it's a texture for me it's the texture for me oh, i love it i love it it's a good job it's well done oh they actually like they like actually like bleached the lace and then they put this oh you'll be begging aliexpress to put strap for you like you're like you're buying a wig for two me two dollars look at this now that you put a strap there for you 150 dollars looks like my hair child next video you all be seeing me coming through with this hair coming through i genuinely and thoroughly love this hair wig Next thing on my list is my Doc Martens. You know, my Doc Martens collection is expanding. I might have very few shoes, but the few ones that I have are quality. I feel like this is my fourth pair of Doc Martens, and I'm not going to be giving up anytime soon. If you know me, you know I walk when I'm walking on the street. I'm like jaga jaga, <laughs> and my shoes pay for it which is why i like to invest in good shoes so that the sole doesn't wear out because the way i walk <clears throat> you'll be asking yourself girl why are you working like that like these shoes be what so i'm happy to have a quality shoe happy to have quality shoes that you know indulge indulge my stupid walking step so this is what my docs look like when i'm coming through i'm coming through what i love about docs is that they're like, super comfy and there's the sole are just amazing honestly so when i'm coming through with this boot for christmas you see why it's my top pick for christmas you see just take a look at one of them let me just do it 360 for you out see so this is what we're talking about so i'm gonna bring out the second suit it's given it's given everything it's given what it's supposed to give it's giving what it's supposed to give up give give <laughs> guys look at that i love it so much another thing on my pick list is this zara coats guys can you do christmas without wearing this coat and wearing the boots no you cannot do christmas ma'am christmas cannot work for you ma'am anyways i go on myself this zara coats I have zero regrets in beige. I didn't want to do black because I just thought it was blah. I didn't want to do white because I just felt like oh, that's so overwhelming. What better way to do it than to work with beige? Beige is like super neutral. It would go with everything. The older you get, the more piece, pieces you buy that work with everything. For instance, I have shown you my topics today. Imagine lighting my beautiful candle, smelling good 
wearing my coat, wearing my Doc Martens boots, and spraying myself with my beautiful Dior Addict fragrance. Y'all, yeah, yeah, I'm wearing my Rad Swan wig. That is already a look. It's a full look. So, I will be inserting a picture of my future self wearing this coat and looking up sneezy, sleazy, lazy, wheezy. Showing off for you guys for this Christmas season. Be partying all year. <sighs> Last but not the least item that I got is this thing. So what had happened was I got a Versace perfume, which I thought was, I think it was about $125, quite affordable. But they said I, I have to buy the Versace perfume to get this duffel bag. And in my head, I'm like, hmm, I don't really like this Versace perfume, but I will get it because I want to get the duffel bag. Because I think that is a good hack. Especially like when like, you know, you are looking into getting into the luxury designer world. You don't have money to get certain duffel bags for traveling or designer purses. The hack is to go to all these department store where they say buy something and get a purse and this is that makeup purse get a duffel bag and by doing so you have a designer piece so honestly that's just a good hack not everybody's gonna be able to afford a versace travel bag but girl i've got one here and i only paid 125 dollars for the perfume which then they gifted me this bag for zero dollars so this is what the duffel bag looks like are y'all seeing what I'm seeing here, bruh? Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing here, bruh? Are you seeing this? It. Oh God. Yeah, y'all should see this. It's free, yo. It's all free. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It comes with a strap. Ah. When I'm walking down the streets with my bag this Christmas season, don't speak to me. Don't talk to me. Don't say hello. Eh, eh. Christmas is here, and I'm, I'm, Christmas is here for sure. Like this duffel bag is giving me life and everything. Um, yeah. Like yeah, I already wrapped the Versace perfume that I got, so obviously I can't really show you guys. But because it's not for me, it was a it was it was obviously in the men's section, so it was like men's fragrance, and I didn't have any use for that perfume to be honest. Like I genuinely didn't have any use for it. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to give this to somebody. But I really want to get this travel bag. So I just got the perfume just so I can get the travel bag. I didn't really have a use for the perfume. But you know what? It's the Christmas season. So I'm going to give this to someone. Which is why the perfume is not on my top picks for Christmas. Because it's not for me. It's men's fragrance that I saw. And I just felt, oh, I'm just going to get it for somebody. Give it to them as a Christmas, Christmas season. Bless their own day. But I would get my duffel back and keep it for myself free anyways this has come to the end of my video I hope that you enjoyed it I enjoyed this because it definitely brought back nostalgic memories for me it feels like I'm you know paying homage to my childhood when I was a child I remember vividly you know my parents would always buy all of these gifts for us and we used to have Christmas hair Christmas clothes Christmas shoes so obviously you can see that that just reflects to what i bought for myself i realized that as an adult um i didn't really prioritize buying christmas shoes christmas bag christmas this christmas that i just felt like oh, been there done that but you know as you start to get older you start to remember one of those memorable things that you did with your family especially when your family is like ten thousand miles away you want to get close to them and so this is this is just from this is just how i pay tribute to my childhood and how i just kind of give respect to it in the sense that i'm able to buy things for myself especially in this very tough tough difficult year i'm able to do that and just remember the, my childhood and the excitement that and just the the excitement that comes in my face when i'm opening my gifts on christmas day that my parents give to me so this is just my own way of opening these things to you like oh, it's just bringing back those good memories um i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up give it a like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one love you guys so much bye god bless you